I think the best part of this whole journey has been what it has done for the students in my community. I mean, the energy in my city is just palpable. When I became National Teacher of the Year, I felt it a little bit. I had a girl reach out to me. She ran for student council president. You know, she says, you know, I, I saw you and I was inspired and I just threw my hat in the ring and she won and she was just so excited. I had a young boy, he was a seventh grader. He ran for uh, vice president of his class. And I see all of these young people who could have never imagined themselves doing anything like this. My campaign, hundreds of young people, high school kids, college students over the summer who came back who had never been intimately involved in politics or saw themselves as having any political action just really understanding that they have a voice and it matters. And they can elevate their voice and exercise their, their vote and hold leaders accountable at any age. And I saw that in real time and they saw the results of their work. And I truly believe that they will be engaged voters for life. Being the first African-American woman ever elected from the state of Connecticut to Congress, I've had parents, um, both black and white, who say to me, I'm so happy that my child gets to see you as a role model. And it, it's humbling <laughs> on so many levels, but I just think it, it empowers so many young people to really just be the change they wish to see.